More than six million people in the United States are suffering from heart failure and high rates of needing hospitalization for this disease. Importantly, death rates from this disease are also increasing. Hi, I'm Dr. Mandeep Mehra, a Mass General Brigham cardiologist and a specialist in advanced heart failure. Heart failure is a condition when the heart can't pump enough blood to meet the body's demands. It is also called congestive heart failure or cardiomyopathy, which represents a weakness of the heart muscle. Heart failure doesn't mean that your heart has stopped working. It simply means it isn't working as well as it should and cannot meet the demands that your body imposes on the heart. Of course, it's a serious condition, but we do have many treatments that can not only improve your quality of life, but also meaningfully enhance longevity. How do you know if you have heart failure? Some common symptoms include trouble with breathing, particularly on exertion, fatigue and weakness, a relentless cough, swelling of the feet, ankles and legs. Some people feel a sense of nausea or even pain in the belly and unexplained weight gain. The most common mistake is to attribute some of these symptoms to just an effect of aging. You may be more likely to develop heart failure if you have any of the following risk factors, high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, or history of a heart attack, heart valve disease, diabetes, obesity, a history of smoking, family history of heart disease, or heart failure. Heart failure can lead to other conditions, such as sudden heart rhythm disturbance, which can in fact lead to fainting spells, even kidney and liver damage, and malnutrition with loss of muscle mass in late stages. An early diagnosis gives us more time to treat you and prevent further health issues and deterioration. Tests we use to diagnose heart failure include an EKG or other tests to look at the heart's electrical activity, blood tests to look for stress or strain within the heart or other organ damage due to reduced blood flow, an ultrasound of the heart called echocardiography or other imaging to measure how well your heart and its components function, and even a stress test to see how your heart handles physical activity. The ancient Egyptians, Greeks, Romans, and Chinese all described heart failure in their early writings. Our current understanding of the modern diagnosis of heart failure dates back to 1971. This was heralded by the recognition of high blood pressure as a significant risk marker. Today, coronary artery disease and high blood pressure are responsible for most cases of heart failure worldwide. Rising rates of obesity, lack of physical exercise, and an unhealthy diet are also major reasons for its increasing incidence. We have many tools for treating heart failure. Lifestyle changes such as losing weight and stopping smoking and medications to lower blood pressure may help early symptoms of heart failure. We now know that targeting obesity with weight loss reduction is useful in preventing damage to the heart. Advances at Mass General Brigham have resulted in the discovery of medications to reduce stress on the heart, improve heart function, and enhance quality of life. These medications reduce hospitalizations and can greatly prolong life as well in most cases. We use specialized pacemakers to improve heart function called cardiac resynchronization therapy or CRT or biventricular pacing. An implantable cardioverter defibrillator or ICD can prevent death from sudden irregular heartbeats and restore normal heart rhythm which would otherwise cause cardiac arrest. In many cases with atrial fibrillation, which is a condition where the upper chambers of the heart become irregular in function, we can restore normal rhythm using specialized techniques of ablation to eliminate this problem. Minimally invasive procedures to place stents or repair valves, or in some cases heart surgery, can open and restore blood flow and prevent further damage. Innovations at Mass General Brigham have helped introduce a special heart monitor that can send us information wirelessly from your home, allowing us to adjust your heart failure medications well before complications can develop. In about 10 to 15% of cases, patients continue to suffer from heart failure despite these approaches. This is referred to as a condition of advanced heart failure. Many treatments for advanced heart failure have actually been pioneered right here at Mass General Brigham. These include current generation left ventricular assist devices or LVADs, 
which are specialized heart pumps that can replace or assist a weakened heart when medications fail to do so. In many cases, these pumps can unload the heart sufficiently over time to restore function, a condition called heart recovery, when these pumps can then be removed. In some cases, a heart transplant may be the only suitable option when other treatments aren't successful. In such cases, patients undergo a thorough examination to determine their eligibility for either an LVAD or a transplant. The future of heart failure treatment is promising. At Mass General Brigham, we are leaders in researching the genetic causes of heart failure and in developing new treatments that help us reverse or even prevent this disease. We are especially focused on exploring treatments to recover heart function through the use of specialized medications and devices. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Mandeep Mehra. For more Clues to Cures videos, click right here. And don't forget to subscribe right here.